everyone. My name is John Lasciuto, and I'm the Art Gallery Director at Florida Gulf Coast University Art Galleries. And I'm pleased to have with me Heather Couch, who is here to have a conversation about her work. And that will be featured in the upcoming exhibition, When We See Further. And that happens October 16th through November 19th, 2020, in the Wasmer Art Gallery at Florida Gulf Coast University. And Heather is one of four South Florida artists in the exhibition along with Marina Font, Terry Rybovich, and Renee Ray. And Heather, thank you so much for being with us here today. Thanks so much for having me. Great, so I wanna start off by asking you a few questions and we'll dig into your work. And it's great to see that you have some of it on display behind you as a sample of what will be in the exhibition. So why don't we start with that? Can you tell us a little bit about how you make your work, um, the development, of it and uh, are there themes that you find yourself coming back to as you're making the work? Sure, yeah, of course. Um, I think probably this idea of precariousness and fragility mm -hmm. underlies a lot of my work. Um, so I tend to build structures that are rather stable and rather um, balanced, I would say. <laughs> uh, I also, love different materials and working with the materials themselves. So I will um, combine materials that are really gritty and hard, more like raw construction materials. And um, even the clay that I use, um, it has a grittiness to it and I leave it raw when I fire it. Um, so it has a lot of texture. And then um, the I add wool, raw sheep's wool that I get from a friend who um, shares the sheep. And I wash it and this still has a little bit of grittiness in it too, but it also has this warmth and kind of comforting quality to it. Um, together with some colored strings, playful colors here and there. Um, so I tend to uh, address this idea of precariousness and fragility, but through a very playful manner and really um, just kind of intuitively working with the materials and the forms letting each step along the way inform the next step that I take um, and kind of being reflective within the process of actually developing a piece. So I had the opportunity to see some of your work in an exhibition and also see it uh, in, in our conversations, but you work both in distinct objects, but also in installations, correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think for this exhibition, we're looking forward to something completely new, which will be an an exhibition and that's going to be really interesting with the other artists. But some of what you talked about when you're speaking about fragility and precariousness, I think is very apt, especially now that we're in a uh, social situation and a health situation that points to that. Has the, has um, reflecting on the COVID-19 pandemic, has that um, made you think about your work in a new light at all? It definitely has. Uh, I feel like the pandemic together with several other things in my life personally have just kind of floored me, uh, to be honest. And I feel like my work uh, kind of came to a standstill because I wasn't able to make the kind of risks that I needed to make emotionally to make the work. Um, but it was a great time to look at my work because my work spoke back to me. Um, it was almost mocking me, like you wanted to know what it felt like to question identity and to have the rug dragged out from under you. I've been exploring these ideas for years um, on small scales, thinking that someday they'll be really useful in case of a large event and then here it is and I, and I, was, I was struck by it as hard as anyone. Um, but I, well, I can't, actually, I honestly can't say that. I'm sure some people are struck harder. So do you but think that that will um, play into the installation that you'll make for us at, at FGCU? I think it will. I'm not entirely sure in what way yet, but I have thoughts of um, yeah, incorporating that, that nature into it. Well, it'll be interesting because not only will you be making your own installation, but it'll also be um, in juxtaposition with the three other artists. And you know, we started this conversation you know, about a year ago where you had a chance to meet the three other artists for the first time and see the content of their work. And we've had conversations with them and each other about how each of you um, deal with issues of the body and fragility and resilience. 
through those conversations, do you feel like you understand your work in a different light at all, or has it changed how you think about your work? Um, yeah, I think it's been really fun to see the overlaps in both the finished products of, that we make and also just the ways that we approach making in general and the way that we approach thinking through and responding to the process of making. Um, and so that's helped me kind of think through my process again. Um, and I don't know, just, I've also, I love the atmospheric quality that's in each person's work and sort of the disintegration that can happen around the edges. They're, they're each a little bit ephemeral, but very solid as well. And then um, just the repetitive, laborious tasks um, that each of us is engaging in in different ways, I think kind of feeds into the work a little bit. Um, I've started to realize my work has more womanhood in it than I realized, um, starting to dialogue with the other artists. Um, and then I just think some of the line qualities and, and ways that they are expressing in, internal ideas externally or, or those feelings um, externally through their work um, is helping me see how, I'm, like just comparing how I also do that is helping me just sort of understand this intangible art making process a little bit deeper. Well, you're you're the one artist. Um, I mean, they all have a very physical aspect in their in their making, but you're the one truly three dimensional artist. Um, the rest are using photography, drawing, painting, and so I, I felt it was really important to have that physical, you know. Um, work as well, the three-dimensional work, and where the, some of them are depicting the body in their work, I think for you, it's a little bit different because there may be references to it, um, but you're also using your body and leaving that imprint in the clay itself um, as well, right? That's right, yes. Um, Adi, if you can see the texture on some of these ceramic pieces, um, building them with my hands and then leaving marks of my hands on the clay, on the surface of the clay, uh, is a big part. Like uh, I used to, in the past, make uh, work that tried to be, tried to have no marks of the maker on it, it tried to be completely natural. And then um, at some point I just shifted and now it has my fingerprints all over it. Um, but that sort of uh, dialogue that then the viewer has with me as the artist, I feel like is very interesting. Um, and in certain situations, I'll even allow the visitors to touch the pieces. I don't know if we'll have the opportunity there where they can put their fingers in my fingerprints and kind of feel that history. Something that I always imagine doing when I'm at museums and I see the ancient ceramic, and you can see the fingerprint of some prehistoric person left there on that, on that piece of clay. Thank you, that's a really great insight. And I think an important part of the exhibition um, you know, I've asked all the artists this next question, and I'm really curious what your response is as well. The, the title of the exhibition is something we came up upon together, and it's uh, When We See Further is what we landed on as the title. But what does that mean to you as, as an artist in relationship to your work? Sure. Um, I do feel like the process of making art allows us to see in different ways. Um, a lot of times I will have a rough idea of the finished piece that I'm aiming toward, but I really would like to respond to the forms that are developing along the way. Not only what the materials show me, but then how I am interpreting or responding to those forms and letting that to help define the next step. I feel like some of the other artists are doing that as well. Um, and that really does allow me to see within myself, to see within my work and to then see within the world, the whole process of making allows us to see further. And then I guess another added aspect is having the four of us together. I think that just like different um, forms or textures in my work dialogue with each other, now that whole collection is gonna be dialoguing with these other artists' work. Um, so not only conversations that we have in person, but I think when the work is put up in the gallery, there's gonna be some really interesting harmonies, dissonances perhaps, um, but nice dialogues that that we'll be spending time listening to. And I think that that'll be really special too. I agree, I can't wait to see all of you soon. And um, Heather, just thank you so much for having this conversation with me today. You know, it's been a pleasure seeing the work behind you and talking a little bit more about what you do. Thanks so much, John.
So I want to remind everyone that make sure to visit our website to learn more about any updates that involve the exhibition. Of course, we're going to be making adjustments as needed for health and safety of everyone involved. Um, but we hope to see all of you here for the duration of the exhibition and check out the other three interviews with the artists. And Heather, I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.